Right, we're just at a property today. Um, there's a lot of water coming in above the window. Now you can see, previously, somebody siliconed all up. But you can just see, I've just cut a block out, and it is wet. You can just see up here, pull this on. There is the insulation. That is absolutely soaking wet up there. This is all damp. So, the question is, that has not been inspected prior to cavity wall insulation being installed, which is typical because you need a scaffolding to get onto this bit of the area. So, this just shows some basic observations with this defect. You can see on the back of the block there. Look at the colour of it. It is soaking wet. We've got to get all this out now. This should have been done before it was all installed. Right, we've now just removed a few more blocks. And you can see that it is completely blocked again. You can actually see how wet that sand is. That's on the back of the block. And you can actually see that there. there's some damage to the tray there. There's all the insulation. It's a little bit missing there. There's nothing to do with us. You can see there's nails in there. I'm just gonna pull a little bit of this out in a minute. Just gonna knock a little bit of this out in a minute gently. Don't knock the old picture. You can see that is absolutely blocked solid in there. Look at the back of the tray, look. That, it's all broken, the tray's completely broken down, you can see. Wet. Look at the tray, look. How could this have ever been inspected and why have they, why have they actually put this in? Look at it. This is absolutely unbelievable. It's completely shot all the way along there. It's soaking wet, look. It's absolutely soaking wet. It should never have been injected. This cavity wall insulation should never have been put in this property like this being checked. Especially when you can see silicon above there as well. You know somebody's tried trying to fix a problem. But yeah, that's shocking. Right, just a quick recap of that video. So as you could see, there was a hard mortar from the original construction. You could see there's a bitumen tray. Normally, it should be going along horizontally then upturned vertically so any water is coming down, hits it and then it can come out of the building. In this case it was coming down, hitting the tray, running off and going down the edges and also the tray has broken down which is really really important because now any water that's coming down is going in onto the tray and literally finding any pinholes or any of the bigger holes. This is the problem now, with this insulation it should never have been installed prior to a proper survey being carried out. Now, it's all right saying the insulation is going to last for a million years, but how long has that bitumen tray got left? Now, a lot of those trays are coming to the end of their life. There's been a little bit of movement. They've been banged right when they originally installed. Alterations gone on at the buildings. You know, things have been dropped down there and God knows what. So without actually inspecting everything properly, you can't actually say it's okay. So you can't presume that building is going to be suitable for insulation. You have to prove there are no defects. And this is the problem. A lot of the times on the surveys, it's more of a measure up in a quote rather than an actual survey, eliminating every possible defect to make that insulation have the best that chance of actually working and performing to its ability. But thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, ask. Um, 
if you like these sort of videos, I've got lots more coming when I get time to edit them, so just please subscribe.